to address regional security threats, defense ministers from the 15th ECOWAS member states conveyed for a critical meeting to discuss the modalities for financing and equipping the deployment of Air Force counterterrorism units. This meeting, aimed at achieving peace and stability, was held at the ECOWAS Commission's headquarters in Nigeria's capital on June 27, 2024. In his opening address, Dr. Omar Toure, president of the ECOWAS Commission, emphasized the severe threats posed by insecurity, including terrorism and violent extremism. He highlighted the hardship endured by victims and underscored the importance of strengthening regional internal security to tackle the unprecedented challenges facing the Sahel. Have become countries with the highest impact from terrorism for the first time, with fatalities increasing by 68%. A quarter of all deaths from terrorist attacks occurring globally, while in Burkina Faso, while in Mali, is ranked, while Mali is ranked number three most impacted country. Taking due consideration of the transborder nature of the menace and the need to address it collectively and in line with the directives by the Authority on Peace and Security Matters, I would like to inform this focus body that the invitation to this meeting was extended to all the 50 ECOWAS member states. Nigerian Minister of Defense, Mohamed Badaru, speaking on behalf of the ECWAS Committee of Defense Ministers, called for a thorough examination of the financial implications and urged meaningful contributions, especially in the light of the region's economic challenges. This, he noted, would enable the formulation of actionable recommendations. The implications of those proposals are significant. Well, our own estimation cost is two billion. 606, 900, uh, 606, 695,614 dollars per year for a brigade of 500 men. The alternative proposal is for a brigade of 1,650 men with an estimate annual cost of 481,495. 459, $865. Those figures underscore the gravity of the tax before us and the necessity of a robust and sustainable resource mobilization strategy. It is therefore imperative that we critically review the options considering the current challenges confronting our region and the financial constraints facing our various member states. This meeting reflects the urgent necessity to address the root causes of terrorism within ECOWAS states. Vincent Okushi, reporting for Quality Television. Jump.